Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this particular video, we are going to look about a particular library called Doc Query. So recently I have been making a lot of videos on uh, document understanding or document AI where we were looking about uh, understanding uh, layout models, layout LM models and various OCR models and various document AI models like PPOCR and other things to extract the table, table content and extract the written information from the document. So we were trying to discuss and uh, try to train, we were, we were also trying to train the model using layout LMs and other latest state of art uh, models uh, using uh, hugging face and other technologies that are being implemented right now using transform using transformers as well so we were we were doing uh, till till now this and uh, recently i found this uh, doc, uh, doc query as a uh, library that can help us to extract the uh, relevant information from a document uh, document can be pdf and images right now and uh, we can extract the documents uh, we can we can pass the document into this particular uh, library and we can uh, query the questions uh, like whatever we want to extract from the document so let's suppose if i want to extract some uh, name of a particular person or if i want to extract something from uh, uh, like something like uh, uh, what is the invoice number uh, what is the date and what is the uh, total amount so such kind of information if you want to extract it from uh, a particular document uh, then you can use this doc query and you can just uh, pass a image or a PDF into the uh, model that has been given inside this doc query and you can extract the uh, information from it. So that's the way uh, uh, doc query generally works. But recently I've been making a lot of videos on how to train your custom models uh, to, to extract uh, uh, latest or, or, or to extract the uh, information from the documents right so I've been making a lot of videos as you can see I have also made a video on extract tables uh, train uh, custom tokenizers and extract topics OCR text from PDF so a lot of videos I have made on uh, PDF extractions and table extractions and uh, extracting the related information from different different type of documents so you can also take a look onto these particular videos you can go to my channel and and just uh, and just go to the channel and you can just uh, look about look about the things uh, that I have made around the uh, PDFs and extracting documents around it right so you can go and explore it I have made a lot of videos so you can see and I have a lot of videos on NLP as well so you can just go and uh, check out uh, the videos and you can extract start training your models uh, from the scratch with your own data sets so that's a basic information that I can provide related to the work that I've been doing lately and let's go back to the uh, the the documents that we are referring to right now so you can see that we were we are going to uh, watch this uh, or we can just going to play with this particular library and uh, this uses uh, a model called layout lm at the back end uh, which is which is trained on question answering task so uh, this model generally takes up a, a pdf and it will take up the pdf and it will uh, take up the uh, and it will extract the questions and answers from that particular PDF and whatever the query you're gonna pass in, into the particular model then it's gonna uh, fetch that related information from that particular PDF or, or particular document image right so right now PDF and uh, image of the document is supported here uh, maybe in the future uh, uh, upgradations of this particular library they are gonna bring uh, additional uh, addition to the uh, different kind of format of a document right so uh, if you if you if you don't know about layout lm what it is about so you can you can check out my channel i have explained in detail about the layout lm models uh, and you can just understand the layout lm model what is the functioning and how it works and then you can also train your custom layout lm models over there and you can bring back and here and you can also uh, use that particular models and you can build something like this whatever doc query has sent right so uh, in, at the back end also they are using a uh, layout lm model and they are trying to filter out the things and get the information from you by using the query or by using the questions uh, from the document, right? So now uh, this is the library that we have right now. Now we're gonna go and uh, explore this library on on our collab. So let's go and explore our query. So lately I've been playing with this particular uh, query, or uh, I've been playing with this particular uh, library uh, recently. So I have installed the dependencies. So it's clearly given here in the github so we have to just pip install doc, doc queries and 
we also need to install a test right if it is not available in the collab environment so once that is done uh, we can start passing or we can, we can start using this library by uh, using the cli command or also we can also use it using the normal python way right so let's just see first in a cli way like how we can use it using command line so uh, to to pass an image or pa to pass in particular pdf document you have to just use doc query scan command uh, cli command and you have to pass the query that you're looking for inside the particular pdf or it pdf or any of the image that you're looking for and then you want to pass the path of that particular image so this is a direct example that i have taken uh, from the from the particular uh, uh, repository uh, so we are just going to execute it so let's just first open this particular uh, pdf that they have mentioned right so this is the pdf that they have given and from here uh, they are trying to extract this uh, invoice number so that's what uh, they are trying to extract from this invoice number and they are going to pass this uh, uh, query like what is the uh, invoice number and uh, this is a query or this is the question that they have given and they are looking for the answers inside this the, inside this particular document right so they have passed this particular uh, path of this particular document and they are getting the answers for it so you can see the answer that it is returning is uh, us dash 001 right so if we go into this particular document we can see it is able to extract the invoice number so if we try to extract or we if we try to give a different uh, uh, query let's just check how it is performing right so right now i will extract uh, what is the invoice state so that's the query i'm trying to give so let's, let's see how how, to, how it, uh, it is able to extract and get the answer for us and then and in the later uh, in the section we'll try to look at uh, with different uh, uh, pdfs or with different uh, invoice documents and we'll see how it performs right so you can see it has extracted the date invoice date and let's check the original invoice date so you can see it's 11020219 right so i think uh, it is able to read but uh, it is not able to read the slash properly and it is tagging slash as one so that's a, i think that's a probably a error of uh, ocr that that is working at the back end that means the tesseract ocr error is there hence it is unable to do it and let's let's try to extract some something different right so let's act, uh, extract total amount like we we'll try to extract this amount right what is the total invoice total so let's just read on it so you can see it is able to extract dollar one five four point zero six so let's let me just go over it here you can see it is able to extract the total amount like invoice total right so this is how you can use uh, your invoices and you can pass into this model and get the answer for your queries that you are looking for so let me pass some uh, new images or new new pdf images so let me open this image that i have downloaded from uh, google so this is the image right so now we'll try to extract uh, invoice number and the the invoice total right so let me pass this particular image uh, to this particular uh, python code and just a second copy and paste and let's just rerun this so meanwhile it runs uh, let us go through this particular uh, commands what it is what it has been written right so from doc query it is importing document and pipeline so in pipeline it is extracting the pipeline or that means it is loading up the model so it will start downloading the layout lm models at the back end and also it will try to extract those things and it will generate a pipeline for it and then in this download uh, uh, in this download like, like in this download uh, document function uh, it is able to take up the uh, take up the pdf and it will uh, try to use ocr like tesseract ocr to convert that pdf into ocr text and then this becomes a context or this text will becomes a context for this particular layout lm model and then it will pass then we have to pass the query and we'll get the answer so that's what it is doing here so you can see p is nothing but a nothing but a layout lm model uh, that is trained on a question answers task hence it is expe expecting a query that is as a question and the context as in con as in context as in uh, uh, what do you say abstract for that particular uh, question that that particular answer we're looking for 
and then it will return the answer for it right so this question will pass will will will, will be looked inside this particular context and it will return the answer so that's uh, that's it generally a uh, question answer task does and we are using layout lm over it right so uh, we are going to pass multiple queries into this particular model with a certain context and it will extract the answer for it so you can see that it has extracted the answer for us like what is the invoice number and it's the score and answer for it it has given evd e546 okay so let us check it out whether it is giving right or wrong so it is pointing out to this particular word or right so this is also this is an e invoice number right and uh, when we go for invoice total it is giving euro 1200 so i think it's not uh, picking up a right thing and it's it's picking up this particular amount so maybe because of this total charge right so uh, that's what the uh, function of this particular uh, library is but i can say that this is not fully functional like you cannot use it for uh, for your industrial purpose but that's a concept uh, doc queries that is putting up for you so you can prepare your own uh, model that is layout lm model or any type of document understanding model that i have covered in my youtube channel you can go through it and you can you can just start using that kind of models you train your custom models uh, based on the question and answering task so you can take your uh, documents you can uh, uh, prepare your data in a form of question answering task and then you can train a layout lm model or any other latest models and then uh, you can use this concept of doc, doc query to query out your questions answers right so that's how you can prepare your uh, pre prepare your uh, uh, pipeline and you can get the answers for your question so uh, right now this doc query is in a uh, is in a uh, practice stage or you can say is in a development stage and later uh, once this they will they will update it then maybe we can get uh, better answers from this particular library but as of now uh, this is a concept you can use it and you can train your model uh, using the libraries that i have told you and whatever the model that i have told you it has been already been covered in my channel so go through it you can just you will just easily understand how to train the model and later on you can prepare such kind of pipelines and then you can extract the answers for it so that will be very accurate because you want to train it on your own data set right so i hope uh, that makes it very very uh, useful information for you and it makes very very easy for you to understand the things and this is all about this particular video hope you like this particular content please do subscribe the channel thank you